Warning, the following video features acts performed by professionals under professional supervision. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything you're about to see. When they say tough as balls, these are the balls to which they are referring. The Admat Medicine Ball is the toughest ball in the world and to prove it to you, we're gonna blow it up with two pounds of Tannerite. <sighs> Oh yeah! Holy look at that. <laughs> Back by popular demand is our Atmat Medicine Ball Destruction Test. Many people have asked on whether or not we can blow it up. We found a couple farmers out here in Illinois that were nice enough to let us try. Matter of fact, I actually built this canister out here. That's a 14-inch silo that we're gonna be launching these things out of. Got a little trap door down here. The reactor. Loaded with two pounds of tannerite. Before we get into it, let's go over everything this ball's been through so far. So what we have here is a standard medicine ball that's gone through normal wear and tear within a gym over three to five years. What we have here is the Abmat medicine ball. This is the toughest medicine ball in the world. And to prove it to you, we shot it three times with a bow and arrow, 18 rounds of a 357 Magnum, three times with a 12 gauge shotgun slug, ran it over with a 20,000 pound backhoe twice, smushed it with a tractor bucket, put it into a salvage yard car crusher, RIP to the car. We stabbed this ball over 100 times. We went toe to toe with an Olympic samurai, handled me on my best day with a wood ax. We ran a chainsaw across it. We even went Looney Tunes and dropped an anvil on it. And we even doused this thing in lighter fluid, lit it on fire, and someone even volunteered to loan us a Gatling gun so that we could shoot this ball up. Now this is the exact same ball that has gone through every single one of these tests. But right now, we're out here at the farm to do our most explosive test yet. Check this out. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Right straight back down too. This was take one, 14 pound Abmat medicine ball shot out of a giant 14 uh, inch cylinder here with one pound of tannerite. How high do you think that went? 100 foot? 80 foot? Wow, look at that. Incinerated the top, but you can still use that in a workout. <laughs> we just did a test with a 14 uh, pound ball and one pound of tannerite. So we feel confident putting in the holy grail of medicine balls right now with two pounds of tannerite and see what happens from there. So 20 pounds of medicine ball, two pounds of tannerite, a couple of farmers. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Oh, yeah. So we just blew up this ball with two pounds of tannerite. That thing had to go up 250, 300 feet into the air. We'll get an accurate recording later. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Oh, it blew it out. Look at this. It blew out this whole tube. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's two layers of eighth inch steel that was reinforced. Oh my goodness. It cracked in half some concrete bricks underneath it. See if this thing survived. Oh man, this thing flew. Wow, and it's still intact. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. A little blowout right here. It's still intact though. <laughs> Can't bounce it here, but you can still use this ball in a workout. What we got here, boys? Scrap metal. Eighth inch reinforcement. It's welded all the way across. Look at these bricks. <laughs> Shattered the entire platform on it. 
completely lost a bolt here. Never finding that guy. Look at the internal mechanism here. It's completely snapped off. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. This is unbelievable. That's not bad right there. Compared to the tube we shot it out of, I think we're doing pretty good. So covered under warranty. All right, so we just launched this puppy who knows how far into the air. We're gonna get an exact calculation for you once we figure out how to do that. But after this thing was launched with two pounds of Tannerite, the damage was fairly minimal. You know, we got a little bit of blowout on the foam here. I think that's only because this ball already had some holes and some slashes in it. But in comparison to this quarter inch steel tube that we built and reinforced with more eight inch strips, this thing blew out like a standard medicine ball when in a gym setting. So. I'm going to say this was a job well done and it can survive two pounds of tannerite in an explosive tube. Still covered under warranty. Toughest ball in the world, baby. At Matt Medicine Ball.